All right, guys, I have to keep it down. We do have people still sleeping over at my house. Um, so we're going to talk about this teacher that's been suspended over depiction of Muhammad in Batley Gamma School. So you probably might have heard about this, um, but we do have a bit of an update. So let's obviously go through. We'll break it down and we'll let you know exactly what is going on with this whole situation. So controversy erupted after a teacher shown pupils at an image or images of Muhammad in a lesson at Batley Grammar School on Monday. This led to Muslims' parents protesting outside the school yesterday and today. The teacher in question has been suspended by the school, which has apologised unequivocally, because you have to obviously bow to minority groups now. Reports from the parents say the cartoon of Muhammad were from the French magazine Charlie Hebro, and the school has said it was... In a religious studies lesson, the office, officers of Charlie Hedro were attacked in 2015 by Islamics for similar deputations with 12 staff members being murdered. Now, I don't know what this Charlie Hedro is. <laughs> okay, I can imagine. I can definitely imagine, right? In October 2020, the French school teacher Samuel Pat was murdered by Muslim extremists following the heated protests after using an image of Muhammad from Charlie Hebro to illustrate a lesson on the values of free speech in an open society. Well, obviously he was murdered, so people obviously didn't get the message. Many of the two uh, Muslim, so many of the Muslim groups protesting the depiction in Batley have insisted that no depiction of Muhammad should ever be permitted in schools in any context. With one group liking it to terrorism and calling for the teacher in question to be fired. Now, the UK doesn't have any freedom of speech laws, right? Um, which is obviously why I'm a big component for freedom of speech in every country. Um, at the end of the day, I don't care about your religion. I think at the end of the day, you should be able to go through and criticize every religion, regardless of how it may offend some group. I think you should be able to, to mock Christianity. I think you should be able to mock Muslims. Or you should be able to mock everybody. Now, obviously, at the end of the day, um, they've, they've, the protesters are just keep staying there. They just keep turning up day after day after day. They're threatened to keep coming until he's gone. Uh, anger grows as Batley protesters demand cartoon Ryo teacher be fired. Um, now, keep in mind, this is all in a UK-based school. This is in West Yorkshire. This is not some Arab country. This is a, 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 a British colony where this is happening, mind you, right? So this will give you an idea of what's in store for everybody else. Outside of Batley Grammar School on Friday morning, the protesters were unequivocal that they would continue demonstrating until the teacher was sacked. Four days after the repost emerged that the RE teacher had shown his class a character of Prophet Muhammad, an apparently misguided attempt to educate about blasphemy, angered the West Shear town and showed no signs of bathing or bathing. Now, at the end of the day, I don't think it was a misguided attempt. I think, obviously, at the end of the day, his point is very, very well taken. Um, obviously, he's trying to teach them about blasphemy and how religion goes on about blasphemy. And now he has a whole bunch of people protesting him. I would say that's probably made the point. Uh, 30 men and teenagers spent the morning outside the school in which is attended by children as young as four and demanded that the principal apologize, he's already done that, and that the teacher concerned be fired or he's been suspended. The person, the Prophet Muhammad, who you are attacking here, we hold more dear to us than air we breathe. Well, hold your breath. And said a 25-year-old who gives his name only as Tinny. You can probably guess what religion he is. This shows how deep it is to our community. Well, then you can go back to your own community where you can push those boundaries and laws. This is a much bigger than a school issue. I would definitely agree. The content you used to show not to be used. If you want to teach it about blasphemy, you can refer that in your lesson. You can have conversations. You don't need to show the picture that you're talking about without showing it. So they're trying to control what people show, don't show, what you do, what you don't show, stuff like that. Tinny himself, as like many of those protesting, had no drink linked to the school, which admit the chaos has been kept shut for days. 
but he said he had left reeling at the hearing of the character, though uh, thought to be an image from the Charlie Hebro, and had been shown to pupils. So he doesn't have any children there. He doesn't have any children at the school. He's just turning up and being angered on their behalf. Sounds familiar, right? Now, obviously, at the end of the day, we now have a petition for the teacher to be reinstated. And it's actually garnered over 50,000 signatures. So that's obviously interesting. A petition in support of the teacher, soon to be 50,001 because I'll sign it, shows the students a character of the Prophet Muhammad and has passed more than 50,000 signatures. It's actually more than that now, actually. I will put a link in the description below to that petition. So if you do want to go and sign it, feel free to. And if you want to tweet about it, then obviously feel free to as well. Uh, the Batley School grammar teacher had apologised after showing the character widely reported as taken from the French satirical newspaper Charlie Hebro uh, during a religious studies lesson earlier this week. Uh, the teacher in question has been suspended and is believed to be under police protection due to the backlash from angry parents. Um, uh, is he under police protection from the backlash of angry protesters? Or is he under police protection because other people that have shown this cartoon have wound up dead? Um, so, obviously, it, the interesting thing here is none of these people that are talking about the protesters or the, the counter-protesters or the, the petition actually give the link that I can find anyway. But don't worry, I found it. So here's another person talking about it and not actually linking because, God, we wouldn't want to do that now, would we? But don't worry because I found it. And I'll put the link attached below as a pinned comment. Keep the RE teacher, RS teacher at Batley Grammar School. The RS teacher was trying to educate the students about racism and blasphemy. He warned the students before showing the image that he had intended to educate them. He does not have, deserve such a large repercussion. He is not a racist and did not support the Islamic phobic cartoon in any manner. This has gotten out of hand due to the students have missed out on lessons because of peaceful protesters. Peaceful being in brackets. Uh, then blocking off entrances, do not allow teachers to work and enter the school. Think of those who would be affected due to this lesson spilling out of hand. Now, I do disagree with some of the pretense that they've got here. Um, they're saying that, you know, it's okay because he wasn't trying to be racist or anything like that. To be honest, I think people should be able to go through and, and show a picture of Muhammad, regardless of whether you're racist or not. I'm not saying he is or he isn't. I'm just saying that the pretense here is it's okay. He he warned the students and he's not a racist, so he should be able to show them. No, he should be able to just show this picture. Regardless of this guy's backstory, regardless of this guy's history, regardless of what this guy might or might not do or what he does in his own privacy of his own home, this picture should be shown. This picture should be shown everywhere or anywhere it wants to be. And at the end of the day, if you get offended over that because of your sensitivities, then you need a cup of hard enough uh, something up. To be honest, I don't care. I don't care about your, your sensitivities. And at the end of the day, I don't care if this offends people. This teacher should not be fired. This teacher has done nothing wrong. And at the end of the day, this teacher should be able to talk about any idol, any religion leader, any religion or anything that he wants that is religion based. He is an RS teacher, a religious studies teacher, I believe it's uh, religious studies. He is allowed to talk about religions. Whether you like it or not, you can have a hard cast of shut the fuck up. And that's the way I feel about it. If you get offended over it, that's your problem. I got, a, I got a, a phone number that you can call. It's called Kids Helpline. They do a great job of listening to your problems. I don't give a shit. And at the end of the day, I, I don't care. We shouldn't have to kowtow to a minority that gets offended over a teacher showing a student, over a, showing a pictation or an image. If this was a, a Christian's or uh, Jesus, for example, a Jesus pictation. Would the teacher have been fired? Probably not. 
So why is it one rule for thee, one rule for me? At the end of the day, I, I fully support this teacher. And, and I think everybody should go and sign this petition. It has 56,000 signatures in two days as a recording this. I believe it has to get to 100,000 before it gets to Parliament. Mind you, you know, they put it on change.org, which is probably going to be really bad. But you know, we'll see if change.org keeps it up. Obviously, we'll keep an eye on it. Because let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. If you think the teacher should be fired, do you think the teacher should keep his job? Do you think that the, the religion should be protected? Or do you think at the end of the day that you should be able to go through and chastise or talk about any religion you want? I, I'm pretty sure I know where everybody's going to sit on this spectrum. But who knows, maybe I'll be surprised. Apart from that, guys, obviously I will put a link in the description below to the change.org article, so or the petition, so you can go and sign it if you want. Um, I fully support this teacher, and I think at the end of the day, everybody should. I would love to see a freedom of, of speech bill or, or parliament regulation put through for the UK, the US, the Australia. Well, the US has got one at the moment. Uh, Australia, all these countries, Canada, all these countries should get freedom of speech. And if you don't like that, there's planes that leave that country every day of the week. Book a flight and leave. Stop trying to turn us into the places that you left because you didn't like them. But regardless, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Apart from that, I think at the end of the day, I think 50,000 signatures or 56,000 signatures outweighs 30 people that are protesting. And that's all it is. It's just 30 people that are protesting. Just arrest them. If they're blocking the school, arrest them. Throw them in jail. They can get all their feely wheelies out in the jail. Apart from that, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section. Apart from that, guys, next video tomorrow night. Have a great night. Enjoy yourself, everybody. And I'll see you then.